everybody. Well, you remember that big heat sink up I had? Well, there's the two boards with their 0.1 ohm 100 watt resistor. 100 watt resistor. Um, everything is joined together by these right here. I got input, one set for input, one set for output. And the output, I kind of split the wire in two to join two channels together. Um, this new concept wire 10 gauge, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I trust it. I like it. I've known it to carry a pretty good amount of current because it, it is true gauge wire. And as you can see, I'm feeling this. It is warm. Don't get me wrong. It's warm. Um, these boards can pull. When they're doing 20 amp output, just one of them, they can pull about 27 amp in. So you've got a cable that's pulling 27 amp. If it's 10 gauge, yeah, it's going to get warm. But not melting hot. Now, if you're wondering what kind of output I'm getting with this right now, um, the voltage is at 15, so it's not going to be a lot. Uh, 15 volts on the 18650s, yes, it is trickle down charge. So, right now I'm getting 20.8 amp constant, sitting at 15.4 volts. Now, the trickle down charge from that. From the 18650s through this to that pack, which that pack is so long, I'm probably going to have to break it down to 12 instead of 15. Um, I am getting 10.2 uh, amp going into that pack from this. Now, what I've got in mind is taking, and I've already got two of these, I want to take two of them, wire them together, something like that, and I've already got the resistors, and two of these boards, mount them to a heat sink, but I think I'm going to take and get rid of what this, the original heat sink, take the MOSFET and fold it down. If it won't fold down, I'm going to have to rebuild them so that I can get it done. These things have one major problem. When they get to running hot at uh, 10 amp constant or better, they, they're subject to cook themselves. Literally. I mean, that thermal tape that I've got on it at the top it's fine but heat builds up in here and it just makes it worse so um, when they said more thermal dissipation would be needed they didn't hint that you would have to get rid of the original heat sinks now I could possibly do a shim do a partial shim on the very edge but I don't think that's going to be enough so Mount them to a big flat heat sink like that, fold the MOSFETs down, and get them mounted to it. Maybe a fan on the back side, which I do have a fan on this. It's only an 80 millimeter. I've got two 140s sitting up there on the fr on this fridge, right there. Uh, I think I'm only going to use one because 80 is doing a fantastic job. But anyway. There's the view again. Um, this little board right here is the regulator from solar coming in. I've got it, got it fridged in for there. So this thing takes the incoming solar voltage. Whatever voltage it might end up being, it will never go over 12 volts for the fan. And that's the wire for it. This wire here is the temperature probe for the temperature sensing um, to speed up the actual fan speed. 
it is a temperature control fan. I do like those Arctic tea seats. Have a good one, people. Hope you're finding this interesting.